Welcome Rockstar, Coach Nisha here bringing you this awesome HIIT workout. We have two circuits of four moves. We're going to repeat them both three times and you are going to need a little bit of equipment today. So have a, an, an object that's a barrier, optionally, you can always imagine it. And I am using a yoga block, but we're going to be jumping over that. So have something that would be nice and small and we can have an assortment of weights available. Have some really light weights as well. Like I have some two pounders and four pounders. You're welcome to grab like a bottle of water or some cans of food. And what else? Oh, you need your stability ball. There's gonna be some really fun moves right off the bat. So with all that said, let's get into this. So we are gonna start with the ball move. So grab that ball. Alternately, you could probably do this move with some sliders, or if you have a wood floor, you can get some socks on and slide your feet that way. But we're gonna use the ball here and do some alternating roll-ins to pike-ups. So just really getting into this here. So plant your hands beneath your shoulders, nice and strong here. I'm gonna turn down my timer because she's quite loud. And then place your feet up on that ball. I like to get it sort of where my weight is on my ankles here and you're gonna keep your gaze ahead of your fingertips, get that core engaged, belly button is up and in, pelvis is tucked, you're inwardly rotating those elbows towards each other, you press away through those palms, and then you're going to keep that back flat as you roll those knees in towards your chest and roll it back out. And now, you're gonna get those shoulders staying over those wrists and roll that butt up in the air with straight legs or bent legs, whichever works for you. And then back, regular roll in, and a pike up. Great work. You're pressing away through those hands, strong in the shoulders the whole time. Try and press those finger pads so that you don't hurt your wrists here. Let's do one more pike up. And great. Bend your knees. Bring it down. Whew. What a way to get the fire started. So get that ball out of the way for a moment. Let's start out with some jack presses without weights. So the way that's gonna look, so you're standing nice and tall, belly button's up and in, your shoulders are open. Now you're gonna bring your arms, whoo, pardon me, to a goal post and squeeze those elbow blades, elbow, shoulder blades in towards each other, keeping that core engaged. We're gonna jump it out and press it up. Don't allow your shoulders to move up towards your ears. You have a soft bend in those knees, landing as quietly as possible. You can also, of course, take the low impact version. Step out here. I can already feel this in my shoulders without weight. So if you're really keeping that back engaged, core engaged, you're gonna get a lot out of just body weight here. All right, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done, Whew. back to that ball. Grab that, we're gonna do some ball sit-ups. And of course, you can do this down the mat if you don't have a ball. Very similar cues here. So, sitting on the ball, roll yourself out to where your pelvis, your back and your shoulders on the mat. Pardon me, on the ball. <laughs> I move this where I can see it. Now, for a more stable base, you're gonna bring your feet wider. I'm gonna do that now because I have no idea how this is gonna look today. Bring your hands behind your head. Squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other and maintain the activation throughout. Now, engaging that core, you're gonna crunch that upper body forward and bring it right back down slowly. The idea is you're wanting to decrease the distance between your pelvis and your rib cage. So you're not necessarily lifting up, you're squeezing that rib cage in closer to your pelvis. Be mindful you're not pulling on your neck here, keeping that gaze relatively neutral. And last one, great work. Let's just lay over that ball for a second. Stretch out that core a bit, feels really good. All right, roll yourself off. Final move of the circuit, we're gonna move on to some lateral barrier jumps. So grab that object if you have one. You can have a book or you can just imagine it. 
We're all creative people. So, long pack version. I want you to squat and step over, keeping it low. And you can drive up at the top. Drive up at the top. You're keeping that core engaged. Your shoulders are open, core is engaged. I said that already. Now we're gonna do the lateral jumps. You're gonna sit it back, jump it over, let any quietly trying to keep those knees tracking in line with the toes. It's kind of like a ski jump here. Great work. Sit back into that squat. So you're really winding up the spring there for this jump. So you can control that descent as well. And that's one. Whew. Well done. All right. Quick sip of water. And we're gonna do that all again. Y'all, I just realized I have my AirPods in. <laughs> There's nothing in there. They were just in from this morning. It's all good. Blossom every day in this house. All right, deep breaths. Let's get back to the ball hike up, roll up combo. Remember, you can always take bent legs in that pike up. You wanna really keep that core nice and engaged. Here we go, plant those hands with your shoulders. Head nice and steady on that ball, core is engaged, pressing away through those palms and finger pads. Roll it in, keep that back parallel with the ground. Hike it up. You're keeping your gaze ahead of your fingertips for the roll in. That's kind of moving in between your hands for the pike up. Well done. Keep it up. Keep that core nice and strong the whole time. This helps you feel the difference between when you're doing this roll up, roll in, pardon me. You don't want that butt to raise. You can feel the difference when you pike it up. All right, last one. Woo! Bend knees. Gently bring it down. And moving on to giant press ups. You're welcome to grab some super light weights here. Whew. <laughs> Taking deep breaths. Cans of food are excellent here, or nothing at all. So, goal post is arms. Squeeze those shoulder weights together, but keep those ribs nice and knit in. And you're gonna jump, press it up. <sighs> Great. You can take this slow. The most important component here is your core. You want to keep those ribs from flaring out. That's going to come in handy later on. Well done. Gentle bend those knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Grab that ball again for those sit ups. Sitting on the ball, rolling it out. You want more of a challenge, a balance? Bring the seat in closer together. Whew! My goodness gracious. Here we go. Shoulder blades squeezing towards each other. Engage that core, pressing away evenly through those <laughs> feet. And bring that rib cage in. Squeezing it close to the distance in between your pelvis and your rib cage. You really feel the difference there. Really activating. Great work. Almost there. Try to take nice, steady breaths since you're not having to talk. Great work. Exhale. When you crunch it, and you inhale as you slowly lower it. The last five, four, three, two, one. My goodness, roll it off. Bottom loop of the set, lateral barrier jumps. Ooh, the sweat is starting to pour. Grab that object. Pick your poison here. You want to do lower impact, 
Make sure you're driving it up. And you can take a little bit of both, especially if you're catching your breath still. Just keep it moving. Great work. Keep that chest up, no matter what you're doing. Keeping that core pulled in. 10 more seconds here. Landing with those knees, tracking with your toes. Woo. I'm gonna move back to lower impact here. Great, squeezing your glutes at the top. If you're doing a little impact, and last three, two, one. Wow, okay. Nice breather here. Quick sip of water. My goodness gracious. The next circuit is a little bit lower intensity, which is nice. But we're still, again, always keeping that heart rate up in the hit classes. All right, y'all, here we go. <laughs> Grab that ball. Alternating roll-ins and hike ups. Set yourself up. Get it nice and strong. Shoulders over your wrists. Pressing away nice and strong to those hands. Evenly rotating those up and towards each other. And roll that in. Oh my gosh. My cat got a hold of my AirPod. Might never see it again. <laughs> Keep going. I'm just doing roll ones here. I forgot to do the pike up, so I was distracted. Roll in and pike up. You got it. Great work. 15 seconds left. Deep breaths. Check in. You're still pressing strong through those palms. And that's three, two, one. Bring your cuff down. Move that ball out of the way. And grab those weights if you like. For those jack press ups. Just make sure checking in with those points. Core is in, shoulders back and down, ribs are not flaring. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Here we go. Keep breathing. We're almost done with this first circuit. You're doing so great. Is your back nice and activated? Your elbows reaching towards each other. Moved. Low impact myself. Great work. Deep breaths. Ten more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Back on the ball. Those ball sit ups. Get yourself set up. Nice and strong with that core, your legs. Nice and steady, hands behind your head. Crunch it in. Nice, controlled ascent and descent. Hold it for a moment at the top. Really feel and see that engagement. Five more seconds. And my cat is so, so hyper today. <laughs> Got some nice idea noise. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Might have been a little bit longer. That's okay. Got an extra burn in. Final move. Lateral barrier jumps. Let's get to it. Place that barrier. Get yourself nice and strong, core engaged. Chest is open, sit those hips back, derive the heels, jump yourself over. You can use your hands to 
help with the momentum here. Great work. Make sure you're sitting back, driving through the heels to jump it over. <laughs> you got it. Keep that core engaged. Nice and pulled in. Try not to flare out those ribs. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay. I'm gonna need that one sitting for a moment. I really try to, like to take a moment in between these circuits to slow down the heart rate and really move it in the next set. We're raring to go, so we can give it our all. So deep breath in, hold for a moment. Exhale it. It's really hard control your breathing here when your heart rate is so high you feel like you can't get enough oxygen but these slow controlled breaths <laughs> calm down your system tells your body that it's safe and you're not running from a predator anymore <sighs> okay did the trick let's do it second circuit. We're going to do another jack, but it's going to be a slow one. Now, let me get this timer going. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you're welcome to grab, grab a lighter weight than you think. So like, for me, this is like, I don't know, eight pounds. Um, probably could do with a little bit of a smaller one, but I don't have a smaller one right now, so I'm going to see how it does. What you're gonna do, if you're standing tall, that core is integral here. Keep those ribs knitted in, not flaring out. You're keeping everything nice and strong. You're gonna grab that weight and have it at your chest here. Now with control, you're gonna jump it out and bring that weight straight out. Your shoulders are back and down, squeezing in, nice and active. So you're gonna, Jump it out, pause, jump it in, pause. <sighs> really feeling the nice strong core, especially since you're loading your upper body. You don't want to hurt your back. So grab a lighter weight if you need to. Really check in to that core. <sighs> We're halfway there. <sighs> Hold it for a moment. Great work. Check in, you're landing with soft knees. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, woo, one. Wow. How is that more tiring than the fast jumping jacks? All right. We've got an awesome core move coming up. So we got a really quick sip. Water, so my throat is so dry. Okay, so we're gonna do a V set. We're gonna scissor our legs here. So let's start by sitting on your butt. Bring your feet nice and close to your butt. Now you're gonna go ahead and engage that core here. Pull that belly button up and in. Keep those ribs from flaring here. So nice and engaged throughout the front. Then you can use your hands to help yourself but slowly slide those knees in towards your chest. And you can bring it up and you can just hold it here if you want. Or you can keep those toes tapping the ground. Or you can move to a full D with your arms up and you're going to keep that nice and strong and bring those legs out and in. Nice and controlled. Now an option here as well, keep going with this. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, if you're there, you can grab a lighter weight. Bring those arms up overhead nice and locked in. Rotating those elbows in towards each other and get up into that V. It's kind of a counterbalancing thing here. 
and then dig it out. Woo. You're doing great. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done. All right, we have another core move to follow this up. We're going to incorporate that V-sit. We're going to start in the stick rollman, and we're going to roll over to that V-sit. So meet me on your belly. Get that core engaged. Belly button up and in. That pelvis is slightly tucked and pressing into the mat. Then you're going to extend your arms to your ears. Reach and lift with those legs and your hand arms. And then you're going to roll yourself over into a hollow body. And bring yourself up to that V. You can have bent legs, of course. Great work. Roll it back over. Hold it for a moment. Roll the opposite direction if you have space. I don't. So I'm going to keep going the same way. Roll it down. Roll it over. Great work. Ten more seconds. Woo. This is, if you're finding this a bit challenging, you can, of course, if you have this time, just doing lower, lowers and lifts with the superwoman, if you like. All right, that's the last one. Gently bring yourself up. Final move of the circuit. Oh my goodness, maybe standing. We're gonna do some squats to toe reaches. So, standing tall, the core is engaged. You're gonna sit back into a squat, drive the heels, kick forward with that right foot and tap it with the left hand. So back, tap. Make sure you're really sitting back into those heels. Those knees are tracking in line with those toes. You're not allowing them to, my goodness, breathe, Nisha. <laughs> you're not allowing them to fall in or out. That core is helping to drive this kick. Great work. Height doesn't matter here. Go as far as your flexibility allows. Bending your knees if need be. Then last one. Good, 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 good. All right. Great work. Another quick breather. Quick sip of water. And we're going to do all that again. You have your options now. Whew. Looks like it's rained all over my mat with the sweat. shoulders back and down, weight in front, and we're going to, wait, check it out, try to jack it straight out, it's going to take some control, but as we go slow, short bursts of energy here, you got it. You're doing so well. We're almost there. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bend your knees and drop that weight. You can be sitting on your mat. Or the beast sit with the leg scissors. Nice deep breaths. Remember the options I showed you. Bring those legs in, lift it up, arms forward, arms up, reach it out, you can use a weight, you can use a band here to activate those shoulders and keep your whole body strong. Great work. I really like using resistance on this just because it reminds my whole body to stay activated, which really does help. With these core moves. Woo! Ten more seconds. The core is the glue that holds your body together. Five, four, woo! three, two, one. Woo. Great. All right. Superwoman to be sit. Remember, you can always only do the superwoman.
in. If this is fine, in front is a bit challenging, but try it. Just roll your body around. Feel like a worm. All right. Pelvis tucked. Reach with your arms and legs. Reach. Roll yourself over. And be sit. Another thing, keep going, y'all. You can also use a band here or a strap or a scarf. Activate his arms ahead. Roll it over. V it up. Again, helps to keep sides of your body nice and strong. So you can whoop, find the power in these moves. Great job. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Wow. Oh, my. Gently roll it over again. On to our final move of the circuit. Squats, toe reach. Core engage. Feet about hip distance, chest open. Sit it back, drive, and kick. Great work. You don't have to go super fast here. Really feel the engagement. I assure you, you're still getting the cardio in. Regardless, you're moving your whole body. You got it, 10 more seconds. Woo! Please, my balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, well done. One more quick moment. And we have one. Woo, set left for the entire workout. chest open, shoulder blades reaching towards each other. Weight at your chest level. Here we go. Jump it out. Jump it in. Really feel that strength when you stop. Have any of y'all seen Squid Game yet? You know how they play green light, red light? You played that game as a kid probably. Pretend like you have to really Stop your whole body when you jump out and jump in. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, bend your knees. Drop that weight. Keep me sitting on that V sit with the scissors. I'm gonna use my band. You don't need to use it if you don't feel one. All right, knees in, legs lifted, rotate, inwardly rotate those legs to help keep that deep core engaged and so you're not relying so heavily on your hip flexors here. Whew. Still quite the challenge. I'm gonna bend my knees for this last bit. You got it. Look forward with that gaze. Keep that core nice and strong. 10 more seconds. Adjust your stance if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Wowie. All right. Back on your belly. Superwoman to be set. Oh, I need that band. Here we go. Core engage. Reach those arms. Reach those legs. Roll yourself over to one side, bring yourself up to a V-sit. Bring your back down, roll it over, roll it over the other side. If you have the space, you want to evenly work out both sides. All right, I'm gonna try, see if I have some space. Uh, nope, I don't. <laughs> Keep going. Roll it over, V-sit. Again, you can have this 
those knees bent. 10 more seconds. Deep breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Just lay here for a moment. Gently bring yourself sitting. And final move, squat to toe reach. Here we go. Standing, core engaged, chest open, sit it back, drive and kick. You got it. Try to control that breathing. Sitting it back, check in. But you're not leaning forward, keeping that chest nice and up. 15 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Well, y'all, give yourself a round of applause. As we take a moment, calm down our breath. Let's take a quick stretch here. Bring yourself to a lunge position. Pelvis nice and tucked here. So you're feeling the stretch in the front of this left leg if you step forward with your right. Lean it forward a bit. Really. Tucking that pelvis to feel the stretch here. Nice deep breaths, calming breaths. And now send those hips back, hinging, relaxing that front foot as you straighten that leg. Bending that right hip back towards the wall behind you so you're really accessing that hamstring. You can sit back on that left foot if you like and relax into that even more. Whatever works for your body today. Make sure you're breathing. Great work. Use your hands to pull yourself forward. Come back to tabletop and step the opposite foot forward. Tucking that pelvis. Feeling that stretch in the front of your right thigh and push it forward or lean it forward just sort of gently relax fully doesn't have to be super deep you just really want to feel that stretch in the front of your right hip and now gently sending those hips back hinging at the hips relaxing that left foot and sending that left hip you can physically Press it back, much tighter on the side. But we don't want to cheat ourselves and go deeper just so it looks better. We want to really properly get into the stretch so that you can actually achieve functional mobility. And we can sit back, relax, be mindful that you're not hyperextending in your knee. Slight bend if you need. Nice deep breath. Great work. Step that forward, back to the tabletop. And there's a really quick child's pose. So seal the practice. You can have your knees wider together. Send those hips down and back. Arms are staying thin inside your ears. Relax your body here. But you want the sensation that someone is pressing down on your hips towards your heels. So you have that length in your back and then relax into it. Hmm. Well done. Pull yourself forward. Meet me sitting. Place your one hand on your chest, one on your belly. Be present with yourself. Thank yourself for being here today and putting all of that hard work in. It was such a doozy. So very well done. Please be sure to check in with me. I would love to hear how you did and nourish
nourish your bodies, stretch it out even further, and stay hydrated. Thanks for coming. I'll see you next time. Bye.